The place, England, the year 1400 and something. Great Britain has reached a break in the horrible wars of the roses. During the reign of Edward IV, England had begun an age of decadence and depravity. Oh dear, I believe I've broken my monocle! I believe you broke it at the OG in Lincolnshire last fortnight. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, indeed, quite! Are you coming to Edward's OG on Thursday? I dare say I always come at King Edward Orgies. Ha, ha! But something was rotten in the state of Denmark. Edward's brother Richard, world famous child murderer and total dick, wanted everyone else to be as depressed and long winded as he was. Now is the winter of our discontent. Made glorious summer by this son of York. And all the clouds that lowered upon our house. No one cares, you prick! However, with a combination of wit and general asshattery, Richard assumed the throne and ruled until he was killed in 1485. Fast forward 100 years, England is in a golden age under Queen Elizabeth and busy oppressing native peoples half a world away. And this man, William I. Hart Cross-Dressing Boy Shakespeare, is looking for a fat check from this chick, Elizabeth I, Queen of England. He deduced correctly that the right way to do this was to insult people that did not spring from the same ancestors as she. And Richard III was transformed from a self-righteous turd into a hideously ugly self-righteous turd. And so began the play Richard III, the greatest play ever written. End.